Good morning, good morning, everybody. We've had an eventful day. I'm stretching my leg. I don't know why I chose to do that right when I started the video. Now it looks weird. It's 3.18. We have had a very productive morning, as you saw. I went to a gym class, and then I came home and I showered, and I uploaded a video. I had to make a thumbnail. I got some work done. I made really delicious little, like, quesadilla taco wrap things in the air fryer. It was like buffalo chicken. It was really good. <sighs> I made an impulse purchase this morning. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, but I was really debating the Dyson Airwrap, and I just want to try it. I can always return it if I don't like it, but I want to try it out for you guys as well. It's so absurdly, ridiculously expensive, like just ridiculous for a hair tool. I wanted to say it out loud and I don't even want to, but you guys are gonna know how much it is. It was like almost $600 with tax, so it's pretty ridiculous. So I'm gonna be the little tester for you guys and test it out and see how I like it. I have very thin hair, as you guys know. So we'll see how that pans out. I ordered it from Ulta so that I could get like points and stuff. It was on sale on Best Buy's website, but I went to check out and it said not available. And then it said you could do store pickup and then it also said not available. So I was like, let me just get an Ulta. I had like two times, why am I out of breath? because I just went and got my package from outside. I have two times points at Ulta for my birthday month, so I'm like, all right, let's just do it. I got like a thousand points out of it for my uh, account, so that's good. My hair right now, I just did it with the Revlon blow dryer brush, which I love. I've been chopping my hair. I know, it's pretty short, whatever. This is what it looks like with the Revlon blow dryer brush. I actually discovered a little way to like flip, flip the ends a tiny bit, so... It looks cute. However, I watched a video of a girl with thin hair use the Dyson blow dryer air wrap thing and it gave her like curls while drying it. It was just so sick and it looked good and she had thin hair. So we're gonna see how it works. I asked you guys on Instagram this morning and literally it was like 50-50. People were like, don't waste your money. And also people were like, it changed my life. And then there were people who were like, it's not good for thick hair. It's not good for thin hair. It's really good for thick hair. It's really good for thin hair. So you know what? We're just gonna test it ourselves. Not every product is like universal for everybody. So I guess I should have expected that it was going to be a 50-50 response, you know? Like, I feel like hair and makeup products are very, like, hit or miss because everybody's got different skin, everybody's got different hair, so we're going to try it out. That was a long-winded explanation for that, but I wanted to start you guys off um, on the vlog because it's getting pretty late in the day already, but we have some fun stuff today. I'm about to record an Instagram promo. They're not working with me on YouTube, just Instagram, but it's this company called Wardrop. It's actually really yummy. They're like little um, tablets that go in your drink, so I don't know when that's going to go up on my Instagram, but if it went up already, sorry, you missed it, but um, I'm going to film that brand deal really quick. I got to get that sent in. I'm also taking a yoga class tonight. My mom's gonna come with me. The uh, gym membership that I got has like a free guest every time I go. So she's gonna come with me. She went and got a yoga mat. I went and got one at Five Below. Literally $5. I opened it already. It's really nice quality. Very surprised. It's not like super thick or anything, but I laid it down. I thought that, you know, like a cheap yoga mat, I thought it would like roll back up when I put it down, but it actually lays flat and it's really comfy and nice. And I like did some positions on it and it didn't like move around on the floor. So got that from Five Below for $5. So that's gonna be fun. I also have a recipe that I've been wanting to make for literally so long. So we're gonna make that together. I just got HelloFresh in the mail, so that's gonna be coming in the next vlog. We're gonna make HelloFresh because I already have dinner planned for tonight. She is on some energy today. I feel like I've so... Bella? Why is your lip up? I feel like I have so many things that I want to talk to you guys about. That's why I'm talking a million miles an hour. Um, let's see. Gym update. I've been absolutely loving it. I did like my fourth class today. I did the cycling. It's hard but it's fun you like get up get down get up get down and like with the instructor it's so hype and like the music is so good i've been loving zumba i'm doing zumba tomorrow with my mom so you guys will see that i haven't tried any like regular workout classes yet but i want to ease into it with the fun stuff and i definitely break a sweat i keep forgetting to bring my apple watch which is so annoying but um i feel like it's really keeping me motivated i already feel so good like i left that class that cycling class this morning and i just like felt so good about myself it's like mentally and physically it's just really nice to like sweat it out and like just get out some energy and I just feel like workout classes are really good for me so I feel like I'm getting into a routine in like a not so normal day and age now and everybody wears their masks and you clean your machine after so I feel really good there so far so that's been really affecting me positively mentally okay I'm gonna film this Instagram thing and then I will come back to you guys okay Dunzo. I'm so glad I had that on my to-do list for yesterday, but I was supposed to vlog yesterday. I never ended up filming, so I wanted to get it done today. Highlighting. What the... 
It's actually really good. Anyways, I need to unpack HelloFresh. Zane never painted the ceiling for my birthday, everybody. What's going on? I got an Urban Outfitters package. I think it's part two of my other package if you saw my last vlog. Well, I don't think, I know it is. Oh, also, by the way, Amazon package alert or purchase I meant, Amazon purchase alert. <laughs> I was so sick of losing the box cutters. What is going on with my lighting today? New Amazon purchase alert. So I was sick of the box cutters. I don't know where they all went. They always get lost. So I ordered literally like a 12 pack. It comes in these three colors from Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. And now I just have them everywhere. I have one in the bedroom, one in the office. I have a bunch in here because Zane likes to use a knife, but I love a good box cutter. My first job was at Five Below and I started as a cashier and then I ended up doing freight as well. And I just become accustomed to box cutters because in freight you're unpacking so many cardboard boxes and then you have to break them down and condense them. So I'm like a professional cardboard condenser now <laughs> but ever since then I'm like I'm never using like a knife or a key like I am on the box cutter life Anywho, see, here's the rest of my urban order by the way today's outfit if you missed my last vlog I did a princess poly haul highly recommend you go watch it there's so many good like basic pieces in there for your wardrobe this not included this is like a trendy kind of sweater but it's like a little crop sweater I'm in love I'll link it down below and then underneath I'm wearing my favorite um, ribbed top from Urban Outfitters. I'm literally not even wearing a bra and it's not that bad. They're, they're a little lol, the girls, but it's fine. <laughs> um, this is the black one. So I'm also wearing my Lululemon Aligns. I'm like ready for yoga. I'm just gonna take this off and do yoga in this outfit. But I just got my package with more colors. So I'm gonna show you what the other colors look like. I did see that a lot of you guys ordered it because like when I put affiliate links, I can see what you guys order and like how many people purchase what. So I saw that you guys have been ordering these, which I'm so happy about. You guys are gonna love them. I wear a size small they're super duper stretchy this is like their the lighting oh, i think that's better this is their like kind of army green color does it say it on here yeah, it just says green so there's that it's very muted which i like again stretchy they're nice and thick i don't wear a bra even if i wasn't wearing a sweater over it i wouldn't wear a bra you can if you want to but you don't need to especially if your girls are smaller than mine you definitely don't need to if they're bigger maybe not this one is called light sand it's a little pinky actually it's definitely pink so maybe i'll have to step out of my comfort zone with that one but it's supposed to be like a sand color oh my god i got a lot of colors they were on sale this is gray i believe it's kind of like a bluish undertoned gray rather than like a warm gray cool toned i guess and then we also got her in white. I actually really like white and I don't have enough white tops. In my wardrobe, I usually gravitate towards black, but especially in like spring and summer, this is gonna be really cute. These are so cute with like jeans, leggings, you can work out on them, wear them as a shirt, wear them as an undershirt like I'm doing right now. They're very versatile, love. When I bought them, they were on sale for 16, but they're only originally 18, which I feel like is really good price for these. This is not sponsored, but I love them. What is this? A free gift? Hair mask. Oh, I think I did pick this. It said I can get a free gift. Okay. And lastly, we got a pair of jeans. Oh, I ordered these in two sizes. Only one came so far. I got a 25 and a 26. We're gonna see, you know, now that I'm working out, I might squeeze into a 25. I don't know. But I showed you guys those ripped ones that I got a while ago. These are kind of just them in like a lighter wash and they're um, plain, like no rips. So I think that these are gonna be cute. Oh, I love these so far, actually. They look really nice. Mom high rise. I just didn't know if they ran the same as the other ones. The other ones, the 26 is good, but these might be good in a 25, we'll see. Okay, that was fun. Now, HelloFresh. This time I got Thai coconut curry chicken. I wanted to get some really fun ones, so we got that. I also got the pork sausage cottage pie. Interesting, not really something like that either. And then this one looked good. Middle Eastern steak and rice pilaf. It has like a tzatziki sauce on it with steak and veggies. It just looked really good. So that's what that one looks like. So tomorrow we're gonna make one. So in the next vlog, you guys will see that. I think I'm gonna do the curry chicken because it's just like something I've really never made before. Something really, really different. Although a cottage pie, I never made that either. Either the chicken or the pie, we'll do that. But all right, I gotta put everything away though.
It's time to make some dinner. I just cleaned down the kitchen, washed some dishes. I'm gonna be making a stuffed chicken breast. So it's got spinach, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, seasonings, breadcrumbs, and then on the side, I'm just gonna do some baked green beans. Um, I'm just gonna wing those, so I'm just gonna throw them on a pan. Uh, we can get those set up now, and then we'll start on the chicken. This is, of course, a skinny taste recipe, so I'll have it linked down below for you guys. <gasps> these started to go moldy. What? I just got these. Okay, we washed them. It wasn't old. It was just like dirt and gunk. <laughs> All right, got our baking sheet lined with tin foil. Spray it with olive oil. Just gonna put our green beans on here, drying them with a towel. I have the oven preheating to 425. That's what the chicken's gonna go on, so that's just what I'm gonna put the green beans on. All right, now I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'm just going in and really quickly chopping off the stems, just so they're not annoying to eat. There's like little tiny stems on top of some of them. We're gonna go in with a drizzle of olive oil, some salt, garlic powder, pepper, and of course, onion powder. I know it looks like a lot, but half of it isn't even making it on there. <laughs> All right, and I'm just gonna set those aside until I put everything else in the oven so that it's already at the same time. For the chicken, we just have some chicken breast, spinach, feta cheese. I'm gonna use the crumbles, but I might run out, so I'm gonna use this if I need it. Garlic, shallot, the sun-dried tomatoes, panko breadcrumbs, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, olive oil, oregano, fresh calls for, but what? It calls for fresh, but I'm gonna use dry. Paprika, uh, salt, and I think that's pretty much it. First, I'm gonna make the mixture that we're gonna stuff the chicken with. So we've got one cup of spinach chopped up. And I'm just gonna like roughly chop that. Nothing too special. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the bowl. Next, I'm going to chop up the shallot. Going in. And then one large garlic clove, we already know. We're going in with two. Going in. Okay, now we need two thirds of a cup of feta. So I'm gonna see how much I have here. There's one third. All right, I'm gonna have to use the other feta. Let's see how this goes. Besides the TikTok pasta we just made, I've never really used this, so I don't know if it's really different. I think I can just crumble this on my own. I don't see why not. Maybe it's got like a different texture, but we're gonna go with it. I'm just crumbling it in the bag and then putting it into here. It's just a little more moist, whereas the other feta is kind of dry, so I think that's the difference. Okay, I've made a mess. We're going in with the second third. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> Also, I forgot to say a quarter cup of chopped basil as well. Took it from my plant that I have in the window and I'm just roughly chopping. I love basil. That might be a little less than a quarter cup, but we're going for it. Next, we're going in with two tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs. Okay, and the sun-dried tomatoes is two thirds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Jesus Christ, that was so stuck on there. Oh, at least it smelled good. It smelled good. <laughs> oh, grease all over my hand, beautiful. Okay, might as well just go in with my hand. We need two thirds of a cup of these chopped. It says drained, so I'm just like trying to get off as much excess oil as possible. That's good, one third. Oh God, okay. Oh my God, it's like almost the whole jar. Okay, that's good enough, two thirds. Of a cup. Then we're gonna chop them. Oh my god, this is gonna be delicious. Oh, these are a mess. <laughs> I've never cooked with these before. Okay, calling that good. Going in the mixture. That was a mess. They're so oily. I'm gonna rinse all this off really quick. I had to wash it because <laughs> it was so greasy. Okay, half a tablespoon of olive oil, tablespoon of grated parm, tablespoon of oregano quarter teaspoon of salt. So we got the tomatoes, the spinach, the feta, the shallot, garlic, basil, panko, oregano, parm, salt, olive oil. Perfect, mix. Mixer up. Make your mixture all delicioso. It looks just like the picture, so that's a good sign. Mmm, -hmm. that looks amazing. Check it out. Expectation, reality. I'll take that. I chopped my spinach a little smaller, but it's kind of good that way. Now we have our chicken. So her recipe calls for four chicken breasts. 
I have two defrosting in the sink, but I don't think that they're defrosted yet. So I might just go with the three and put a little extra filling in each or keep extra filling. I'm not sure yet. I do know that you guys are dying. So I'm gonna change your battery before we get greasy hands chicken hands. We're using a cast iron because it's going on the stove and then in the oven. So I'm getting that heated now on a medium heat. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to take the chicken. I'm going to slit it, but I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm going to make like a chicken pocket to put the stuffing in. I'm actually going to wear gloves because I'm feeling kind of gross about that. Getting all this stuff under your nails can sometimes be kind of nasty, you know? Get our mixture over here. I'm going to get the seasoning mixture ready so that I don't have to touch these with my chicken hands. So we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Life hack, you like rub these ridges on the back of the salt bottle and it helps it come out faster. And then half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I just put in this little <laughs> mixing thing because I used it for the spinach. There's our seasoning mixture. Now here we go. one glove they are nice and stuffed check it out i definitely have some filling left for a fourth so i'm gonna wait for that chicken to defrost and then later i'll make the fourth one i put my chicken hands in there so i already contaminated it so i'm gonna use it for chicken i'm gonna go in with some olive oil on the cast iron i'm gonna lower the heat just a little bit and these are gonna go two to three minutes each side until browned and then they're gonna finish in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes It also did say you could put toothpicks in it if you wanted to as well, but I'm just leaving them without it because I don't I don't want them to break or burn. I don't know. It doesn't sound like a fun time to me. <laughs> oh, also I'm gonna put the green beans in now. Okay, well I did all that only to realize that one of the chicken breasts that was in the sink was indeed defrosted. So I just stuffed it and then I am going to put a top on this and then probably make it fresh for like lunch tomorrow. I can just like put it fresh on the skillet. All right, they're almost done. Mine are taking a little longer because she called for six ounce breasts and mine were definitely bigger than that. So they're taking a little bit longer in the oven, but I'm gonna take it out now. Zane is out, so he's just gonna heat up his when he gets home, but I have to leave for yoga in just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this out of the oven and scarf it down because I am so excited for it. There she is. Looks beautiful. It said to tent it with foil for five minutes, so I tented the other two, but I'm eating mine. I should have started cooking a little bit earlier. I didn't do good on timing. I knew it was gonna take me long, but this has to be good. Like, there's no way it's not gonna be good. Ha. Huh. Oh my God. I usually don't like, sorry, that's rude. I usually don't like just eating like a piece of chicken on my plate. I like to incorporate it into a dish or something like this, where it's like stuffed with a lot of innards. It's not just like a piece of chicken. Chicken thighs I like, but a chicken breast, it has to be like coated in breadcrumbs and sauce and cheese or like not just plain chicken. But this is so juicy and flavorful. Mmm, that is really, really good. You guys should definitely make that. It tastes like a restaurant. My green beans, on the other hand, are very boring. <laughs> wow, I would definitely make this again, you guys. I would try making this with the shredded chicken that I make in the crock pot. Put it in the skillet, like the cast iron is fine. And then put all those toppings in with it, like cook them up a little bit first and then put it in the oven for a little bit. Oh, actually you don't even need to. You could just make it on the stove, but that would be like a skillet, like easier version, you know? All right, I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to finish this right now, but it's fine because it'll be really delicious when I get back. <laughs> I have to go pick up my mom because she's coming with me to yoga. I don't know if I said that. Luckily I'm already dressed. All I gotta do is put on my jacket and go. And I don't really wanna be late to this class because um, I've never been to the yoga class yet. I've been to a yoga class, but not this place. So I wanna make sure I get there, get my spot. You also don't wanna walk in late to a yoga class because everyone's like relaxed and stretching and then you just walk in. And also it's my 2021 goal to not be late. <laughs> I'm out of here. It's really hard to stop eating, but I'm out of here. Of all the times I'm recording when I walk out the house, I just slipped on ice so bad and like really probably hurt my tailbone. Like I'm still gonna go to yoga, but wow, that hurt. Like I literally fell and I was like, ow. 
like out loud it is so bad because it snowed so many times and now it is just so icy and slippery everywhere like if there was a thin layer of snow that issues ice at this point and it's really dangerous and i kept telling myself all day don't fall be really careful don't fall be really careful and i fell so i had to sit there for a few seconds pick myself back up but oh my gosh i think it's gonna be bruised tomorrow i gotta be honest anyways i'm picking up my mom now and then we're gonna go to yoga okay <laughs> Everyone can see. I don't have to blend in. How to you guys we are back from yoga i actually couldn't do some of it because of the fact that i fell like when you have to like roll on your back like it was hurting bad i know it's gonna be bruised tomorrow so tonight i'm gonna like put an ice pack or a heating pad on it i'm very upset that i did that because all day i'm like be careful be careful oh they're right here i hope that i'm able to do zumba tomorrow you think i'll be okay to do zumba mm -hmm. yeah my mom gave me a leave in the car too i called her and told her i fell and then i was on my way yeah she's like i brought you a leave oh good it's gonna hurt she's like i've done that before yeah definitely hurts um it was fun though my mom had fun she's gonna come to me with me to zumba tomorrow that'll be fun I'm heating dinner back up because i didn't even get to finish it <laughs> it was really good though so i'm excited to eat now i feel like i had something else to say but that's that all right well screw it you guys i've been wanting to make this recipe too so we're gonna do it because we've got time tonight we're gonna make flourless cheesecake brownies doesn't that sound delicious here's the photo surprise surprise another skinny taste recipe i am gonna be replacing the honey for applesauce to make them a little less cal hopefully it turns out okay i did that in the last brownies that i made and they turned out fine the texture was a little mush but i don't mind that so here we go let me show you what you need almond flour she also says almond meal or flour but i just have flour we're gonna use sugar baking soda cocoa powder eggs some chocolate chips, uh, Neufchatel, applesauce, salt, and then we're gonna spray this. I cut a piece of parchment paper in half and put it like that, because that's what it says to do. I don't know why, don't ask me, I'm not a baker. I think that's it. Oh, vanilla extract as well. All right, first, in a bowl, we're doing one whole egg, and then one egg yolk, so I'm gonna put the white in a little thing, and we're gonna use it a little later, but I'm gonna separate it out. Okay, beautiful. Yolk goes in here. Whisk those up. Whiskey business. I need a quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water. And it calls for a whole half a cup of honey. So we're going to do a half a cup of applesauce instead. Applesauce. Applesauce. Half a cup of applesauce. I'm trying to learn how to do recipes quicker. I feel like I read it 500 times. And it take, takes me forever. Oh, stir with a spatula, oops. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beautiful, there's our first mixture, everybody. You thought I was gonna do this without using my KitchenAid? You're crazy, here we go. Almond meal, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda. Three quarters of a cup. One quarter cup. Two quarter cup. Oh, hello, Angle. Great job, Alyssa. Three quarter cup of flour. Oh, I was just about wow. to get you. Give me baby some love. <laughs> he was having a bonding session. All right, we got uh, Trader Joe's cocoa powder. One third cup into here. I've only really ever made brownies from a box, and the last time I made them, I actually really liked them. I didn't know I could make them homemade. I'm becoming a better baker. Salt and baking soda. How much salt? Eighth of a teaspoon? What the, what the? Eighth of a teaspoon of salt? Three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. One quarter. Everybody, two quarters. Everybody, three quarters. 
Alrighty, I'm going quick, I'm going fast. Put on your attachment, everybody. Close it down, lock it in, turn it on. <laughs> nice. Now I just read ahead and I most definitely could have just done this in two mixing bowls. It would have been just fine, but we're extra, whatever. Make sure that's all whisked together. Now we're pouring in that egg mixture that we made. We're gonna mix that around with our spatula. Now we're gonna get our chocolate chips. Half a cup of chocolate chips. Fold those in. This batter's looking a little interesting. So hopefully it's okay that we used applesauce. Whatever it's gonna end up tasting like, it'll be good. Cause it's just gonna be like chocolatey, mushy goodness, you know? This goes into our prepared baking dish. All right, spread that around. She seems thick, but we're just gonna go with it. Cause every time I bake something and I think it's gonna be trash, it turns out okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna have confidence this time. Watch, this is the time that it comes out bad. All right, we're almost done. This is pretty simple. All right, we're gonna get six ounces of Neufchatel and soften it in the microwave. And then we're gonna mix it with a few other things. Cream cheese is softened. There she goes. I did it for like 30 seconds in the microwave. To this, we're adding two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. We're adding that egg white that we saved earlier. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Mis mix, misk it all together. Whisk and mix. Whisk and mix, everybody. We're gonna pour this on, oh, mine's very thick. <laughs> we're gonna pour this on top. I think it's supposed to be thick, actually. I'm just gonna use the fork to spread this around. Try and make like a decently nice layer. Now's the fun part. You take a toothpick and you marbleize it, but I'm gonna watch her video really quick just to make sure I do this right. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to spread it so evenly. It's supposed to be chunky. All right, let's try anyway. <laughs> oh, I can't marbleize it. Wait, marbleize. I can't make it look pretty. I think I was supposed to do it chunky so that I could marbleize it, but I was trying to make it even. See, I'm not good at these artsy things. All right, it's just gonna be a layer on top. That's fine. But it's not gonna look cool. Oh, damn it, now I'm ruining things. Oh, these are probably gonna suck anyway. Yep, no, failing, failing. Oh wait, I'm getting a tie-dye effect. Oh, oh, look at that. We're slightly and ugly marbleized. It's like a tie-dye brownie. All right, they're going in at 325 for 30 minutes. I'll let you know how they come out. Dishes are all done. Zane and I teamed up on those. And check it out. It's not that ugly. I mean, the parchment paper looks, makes it look a little bit uglier, but the marbling isn't too bad. <laughs> I've been letting it cool for a little bit. I think I'm gonna cut into it now. All right, so I'm gonna go in a section of three this way. Oh yeah, they're like mush. I let them bake for so long. I think it's the applesauce. I could have done the honey, but I wanted to see how this would have came out, but. Lesson learned, I guess. Oh, the other recipe, the applesauce worked. They weren't this mushy for sure. Oh. All right, if you guys make these, use the honey. I mean, it still looks good. It's just not like pickupable. I'm sure once it sits too, it'll like set into itself. I got into some pajamas. I give a Manscaped free promo. We work with them on the podcast. <laughs> they like, sent us t-shirts. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try it. I think I can actually pick this one up a little bit. Here's what it looks like. There's no way it can't be good. Like this is what I said. If anything, it'll turn into like a mushy goodness. Super mush. I don't have ice cream. I'm really sad about it, but it's fine. I usually have like little pints of Halo Top where I just got from Aldi their low calorie pint of ice cream. It was really good, but I ate it all already. I mean, it's still good. It tastes more like a chocolate cake, which is how the other ones came out too. I think the applesauce just makes them super moist, whereas the honey is a little like, I don't know, sticky and harder. That's what she said. I am not upset at this though. Once they settle and sit in the fridge, they'll like stiffen up, you know? All right, I'm gonna go enjoy it. I'm gonna go relax in bed for the night. It's already late now. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.